the young and the restless spoilers. The most horrifying revelation in Genoa City's tangled web of secrets has come to light, Heather Stevens is alive. The body believed to be hers, found lifeless and used as the cornerstone of Sharon Newman's accusations, was a mere fabrication. Ian Ward and Jordan masterminded a chilling deception, trading Heather's freedom for their sinister agenda. Hidden away in a shadowy prison created by Jordan, Heather has endured a torment that defies imagination. The Terrible Truth The revelation that Heather is still alive shakes the very foundations of the Newman and Abbott families. The woman who had been presumed dead was not a victim of murder but of a calculated plan devised by Ian and Jordan. For months, Heather has been confined to a makeshift cell, a stark, cold room where every shred of hope seemed extinguished. Heather's captors visit her periodically, their motives cloaked in cruelty and greed. Jordan, in particular, revels in Heather's suffering, her disdain for the woman seeping into every encounter. Ian, ever the strategist, keeps a measured distance, ensuring Heather's captivity serves their ultimate goals. Jordan's Twisted Motives Jordan's hatred for Heather runs deep, but the reasons remain shrouded in mystery. Perhaps it's envy, vengeance, or a grudge that dates back years. Whatever her reasons, Jordan's treatment of Heather is marked by an unsettling mix of malice and control. You think you're strong, don't you? Jordan sneers during one of her visits. But strength means nothing when you're powerless. Despite her animosity, Jordan's true purpose for imprisoning Heather seems to lie in her role as leverage. By keeping Heather hidden, Jordan and Ian maintain control over Sharon, Daniel, and anyone else tied to Heather's supposed death. Heather's strength in adversity. Though her circumstances are grim, Heather refuses to give up hope. Alone in her cell, she clings to memories of her family, Lucy, her beloved daughter, and Daniel, the man who once held her heart. These thoughts become her lifeline, fueling her determination to survive. They think they've won, Heather whispers to herself. But I'm still here. I'm still fighting. Heather's resilience shines through even in her darkest moments. She begins to observe her surroundings, noting patterns in her captors' visits and potential vulnerabilities in her prison. Though escape seems impossible, Heather holds on to the belief that her time will come. The prison scene, a chilling exchange. One of the most harrowing scenes unfolds as Ian and Jordan stand outside Heather's cell, their conversation laced with menace. Heather, weary but defiant, demands answers. When are you going to let me out of here? She asks, her voice tinged with both anger and desperation. Ian's reply is as cold as it is calculated. When we've achieved what we need. Until then, you're exactly where you belong. Jordan, unable to resist taunting Heather, adds, don't think of this as a prison. Think of it as, a timeout. You're here because you're useful to us, Heather. Be patient. Their words send chills down Heather's spine, but she refuses to let them see her fear. You'll regret this, she says, her tone firm despite her trembling hands. You can't keep me here forever. The bigger picture, Ian and Jordan's agenda. Ian and Jordan's plans extend far beyond Heather's captivity. Her imprisonment is just one piece of their larger strategy, a web of manipulation and destruction aimed at dismantling the lives of those they deem enemies. By keeping Heather alive and hidden, they maintain a trump card that could destabilize everyone involved in the case of her supposed murder. Jordan's impulsive nature often clashes with Ian's methodical approach, but their shared hatred for Heather and their thirst for power keep them aligned, for now. Their alliance, however, is far from stable, as both harbor mistrust and a desire for dominance. Hope for Heather's escape Heather's captivity isn't without its silver lining. Her knowledge of her surroundings and her captors' routines gives her a glimmer of hope. She begins to piece together potential escape strategies, waiting for the right moment to act. Meanwhile, back in Genoa City, the revelation of Heather's captivity is bound to come to light. Whether it's through a slip-up by Ian and Jordan, or through Heather's own efforts, her eventual return to her family seems inevitable. I'll get back to them, Heather tells herself in the quiet of her cell. One day, I'll see Lucy and Daniel again. The emotional fallout. When the truth about Heather's captivity eventually emerges, it will send shockwaves through Genoa City.
Sharon, who has carried the weight of false accusations, will see her name cleared, but the emotional scars will remain. Daniel, devastated by the thought of Heather's death, will grapple with the guilt of believing the lie. <laughs>